Mathematics in the Modern World. We are still with sets, and in fact, I will devote two or three more slides on the topic of sets. For your information, in college, people who are studying pure math or applied math, they will take up a subject that is exclusively devoted to sets, and they call it set theory. And I'm telling that to you just to, just to tell you that sets is a big topic in mathematics. I will go back to the real number line. So last time I spoke about the set of real numbers and the common subsets of real numbers. I will go back to that. I will go back to the real number line because some of you are able to graduate from high school, enter a university, and still you cannot recognize the interval notations for the set of real numbers. So for example, this one, what does this symbol mean or notation mean? This is an interval notation for a subset of the set of real numbers. So you have a number line, okay? It goes to infinity to the right, to the, to the negative infinity to the left. So this one is the set of real numbers strictly greater than negative one, but less than or equal to five. So that is the meaning of this. This is actually a set of numbers. If we shall shade that in our real number line, okay, you have done this in grade 7, grade 7, grade 8. Real number line shading the region in the line that is re represented by intervals. So this one, you shade the region from negative 1 to 5, open in negative 1, but close to 5. Open in negative 1 because negative 1 is not a member of this set. It's not a member of this set. That's why it's open there and closed at 5. How about this one? This one is the set of real numbers greater than or equal to negative 0.99. Okay? So this one goes to infinity. Okay, so this is not negative 1. Close to negative 1. And then it goes on to infinity. You do not put a bracket after infinity. Okay, so that's not how you do it. Uh, the parenthesis or the, the symbol closing the infinity symbol is always an open parenthesis. How about this one? From zero to negative infinity. So this is the set of real numbers that is less than or equal to zero. So if you were to shade that in your real number line, you begin with zero and then you draw an arrow going to the left, to the negative infinity. This one is the set of real numbers from... 3.5 to 10, but greater than 3.5, but less than or equal to 10. So you're open at 3.5, and then you are closed at 10. Empty set. What is an empty set? An empty set is a, is a set with no elements. And these are our symbols for the empty set. What would be an example of an empty set? Well... The solution set of x squared plus 1 is equal to 0 is, in the set of real numbers, is an empty set. You have no solution for this equation in the set of real numbers. Think of any real number, positive or negative, 0 or just close to 0. If you were to square it, it's going to be not negative 1, can never be negative 1. It's going to be always 0 or positive in which case 0 plus 1 is not 0. The only way this one can be equal to 0 if this were negative 1, but x squared is not going to be negative 1. What is the other example of an empty set? Your love life is an example of an empty set. Okay, finite set. What is a finite set? A finite set is a set whose number of elements is a whole number. Well, that means that the empty set is a finite set because... An empty set has no elements, so it's zero. The number of elements in an empty set is zero. Zero is a whole number. So, an empty set is also a finite set. The cardinal number of a set is the number of elements in a finite set. Okay, so, remember that cardinal number. Put that in your vocabulary. So, let's say, for example, A is equal to the set of... Okay, how do you read this? How do you interpret this? This means x is a negative integer. By the way, some other books use subscript. z 
and then you have a negative sign as a subscript so this one is the set of negative integers greater than negative four so for some students this is a tricky set okay most likely you are thinking of negative five negative six which is wrong negative five is not greater than negative four because negative five is to the left of negative four okay so in fact the elements of this set are negative 3, negative 2, negative 1. All of this, each of them is greater than negative 4. And all of them are elements of the set of negative integers. So n of a, our symbol for the cardinal number of a set, the cardinal number of set a is 3 because you have three elements, 1, 2, 3. More on sets. So what is an infinite set? So a set that is not finite is an infinite set. What would be an example of that? The set of real numbers, the set of natural numbers, the set of irrational numbers, so on and so forth.